Hey guys, welcome back to me growing my first ever business. My name's Morgan. I own Dylan's Digital Marketing. We're an SEO agency. I started the business earlier this year and so far we've got nine or ten clients all within one niche and it's going so much better than I ever thought it could go. It could go. Um, so if anybody's new or like thinking about starting a business, do it. Uh, but today's episode is going to be disastrous uh, because really I don't have much to talk about so it's going to be a lot of waffle. Uh, <laughs> um, I've just realized there's an Amazon package behind me. Um, I really should have removed that prior to the video. Uh, if you're wondering what I got from Amazon, <laughs> um, we got some sun cream, trying to keep the skin healthy. We've got a bit of conditioner. Um, this is the first time I've had long hair, right? I don't know how to look after it because normally I rock like really short fades. Um, my hair's been like horrible to run my hair, to run my hand through. Shampoo. And then we've got and eyebrow raisers, uh, eyebrow raisers, sorry. Um, and if you're wondering why has he got eyebrow raisers, it's because unfortunately I was born with one eyebrow and I like to have two, <laughs> so that's why. Um, but yeah, let's do a daily recap. I woke up today around seven, I wanna say seven, but I didn't get to sleep yesterday until about 12, um, just because I, I didn't do my content till very late. Like I just ran out of time, right? It's one of those where I was working really late and consequently I woke up at seven. But normally I wake up anywhere between four and six. Uh, the last two days though, I've, I don't know, just been a bit tired. I'm not too worried about that because I'd rather get the good sleep because I always perform better with um, when I've slept well. I'm not one of those people that can grind without sleep. I've learned that. I can grind through anything else, but like I need my sleep. Otherwise, like, I don't know, I just feel down. I feel unproductive, you know, I feel start feeling like, you know, this business is never going to work. And then I'm just sitting at my laptop, but like my brain's not there, my mind's not on. So I rarely get anything done. So now I just try and go to bed early and wake up early and I just sleep as long as I need it. And then when I wake up naturally, I wake up. And that's one of the benefits of having, not having a nine to five, right? Nobody tells me when, um, when I need to wake up. Um, but yeah, generally I wake up early. But upon waking up, we did client fulfillment. Uh, until about, I've got it actually here, because uh, every every day I write a time block for my whole day. Uh, it's quite excessive, really. But we done client fulfillment until 12, uh, meaning we're just carrying out SEO campaigns, and I do the large majority of it, the large, the the lion's share of it, <laughs> there we go, uh, of it myself, right? So I've done that till 12, so a good few hours. We're talking about five. Then from 12 till four, I did reach outs. Um, um, but what I mean by reach outs is like cold DMs to other businesses. Uh, didn't really get anything back. I rarely do on a Saturday. Um, however, I like doing it just because like, even if there was like a one or 2% chance, even if I could get like one reply on a Saturday every other week, it's probably worth it, right? What else am I gonna do with my time? Just except for you know, watching silly videos on YouTube. Um, so yeah, I did cold DMs, got 100 out from 12 till four. Um, and then we did more client fulfillment from four till six. So again, carrying out SEO campaigns for other brands. I'll try and put as much time into every brand as I can because transparently, um, if I can get them good results, I can make case studies and go after bigger brands and keep, keep like scaling up the brands that I work with. And obviously the bigger the brands you work with, the more money you're going to make. Um, because obviously I started off with like micro businesses. Sorry, I uh, just had a massive uh, pizza. <laughs> um, yeah, so I started off with micro businesses with that uh, obviously had very tiny budget, but they were happy to work with me because obviously they're tiny themselves. And obviously every client I just try and raise in terms of their revenue level. And by doing that, I can charge more and you know, I become more profitable, obviously. And then I've, at six, I went to the gym um, and I was actually going to, a large majority of this is about the gym. So... Yeah, I'm sorry that this is not too business focused. Uh, but yeah, from six to eight, I did client fulfillment. Then um, four, to, four till six, I did client fulfillment. After the cold DM, six till eight, I did, went to the gym. And now here we are, right? So that was about my day. And I want to talk about December, really, because I came off such a crazy November. Um, in November, I got five clients, more clients I've ever had in a month. I never even thought that was possible. Like even when I was working for big like recruitment agencies, sales agencies, and I had a whole brand behind me that I could leverage, um, I never done any numbers like that. So to do November with just myself running this like solo agency as I'm trying to grow it, um, 
you know, I thought that was insane. I was like, okay, this is a new minimum. Uh, five is my new like minimum. We're going to kick on from here. And obviously December started off incredibly well because I signed a client on the 1st of December. So I was like, oh my God, I'm killing it. And today it's the 9th and we're still on that first client. So it was really, really annoying. Um, just that I couldn't, I wasn't able to keep up, you know, the momentum. Sorry, something's just come up on my phone. There we go. Um, yeah, it's just really annoying that I couldn't keep up the momentum, right? Uh, I think we'll end this month with three clients, which obviously is pretty good. Like, I don't know. And I think a major reason for this, and I was speaking about this yesterday, right, is that nothing really happens in December. Like, I've learned that through my recruitment career and my sales career. Uh, when it comes to December, it's so hard to get deals over the line because everybody's like, let's just wait till the new year, blah, blah, blah. And I don't know, it just annoys me because I'm one of those people that just wants to do everything today. I want to see the results today. I'd rather put in the work today. But, you know, other people don't share that opinion. Um, and if you ever see me look down in these videos, it's because I have a pen and paper and I just write like some topics that I'd like to talk about. Um, I know it might seem annoying, but I don't know, I have a bad memory, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'm back in the gym, right? Second day in the row, I've been to the gym. The first four or five months of building this business, when I say it, I did not leave this room, not even a tiny bit. And I'm happy that I did that because you have to sacrifice everything if you want to get a business up and running, you know, as quickly as I wanted to do it. Uh, you know, with not much experience. I've never run a business before. I even I had to send an invoice. So just put those hours in. I just sacrificed everything. Like we're saying, like, when I when I say I'm sacri I sacrificed everything, I'm talking like I didn't go to the gym. I love the gym. Uh, it's not our laziness. It was like a conscious decision. Like, I haven't got time for the gym anymore. Then it was like, I'm not going to eat until 6 p.m. Started doing that because like, I was just like, I don't know. I just felt like in my heart, like, I could not fail at this. Um, and obviously at the time, my parents were pressuring me like, you need to get a job, you need to get a job. I was like, no, I can make this work. So I just went like laser focused, right? Um, what else did I sacrifice? No seeing my friends, not chilling with my family, no Netflix, no YouTube. Um, you know, my phone was in a different room, no music. It was like some psychotic three four months um but obviously by doing that and i recommend that to anyone uh especially if you're like i don't know if you're a bit weird like me where you have like this burning desire to get this business up and running it just like, it just meant so much to me and i don't even know why like it's not really like, an seo agency is not going to change the world and i don't know i just felt like i needed to do this so i sacrificed everything but going back to what i was speaking about it, like the last week is i've finally like let myself get back into the gym and it feels so good man <laughs> uh because generally i've been a very good gym goer in terms of being like disciplined um i started training when i was 16 i'm 24 now i've trained every year and like, my shoulder used to come out a lot um from like jujitsu and just like injuries and stuff like that uh but even then i was going to the gym you know just doing like romanian deadlifts squats my legs got huge during that time when my shoulder just kept coming out um, I was always working around it, so like to be back in the gym, it just feels like normal. Like I don't know, it just feels amazing. Like, I'm struggling to put it into words. Um, and what did I do in the gym today? I it was leg day, so trying again, trying to just pack on like as much muscle mass as I can uh, in the next few months, just because. Um, and it should be easy to be honest because I have a lot of muscle memory. Like, I know I've lost quite a bit now. Um, but generally, I'll be able to pack it on, you know, rapidly just because, like, even within like a week, my lifts are just going like that. Because I work out full body now, maybe four or five times a week. So I do the majority uh, of my sessions full body. Today was legs. But yeah, mo the majority of my sessions are full body. I've seen my lifts go up like every session. So it should be, it's a pretty exciting time. And I don't know whether I should be in the gym this much, like two days in a row, because I still need to focus on the business. Um, but I don't know. It's just Saturday. I just felt like, you know, go to the gym. Uh, because sometimes I just get like, I feel like I'm going crazy in this room. Um, so it's a little box room, by the way, that I work in. Um, it's not something fancy. So I just sit in here all day, every day. I don't know. I think I go a bit stir crazy. But one thing that's been really cool this this week is my social media growth. So I track my social media growth uh, because obviously I'm trying to build a personal brand and I'll touch on that a little bit later. Um, and normally I 
well it went from like 20 followers a week like gain um to like 25 to 30 35 40 45 50 and last week was 50 right and i'm pretty sure that's the highest uh week i've ever had it just keeps compounding and this week it just like went 50 and then 130 i was like what this is insane <laughs> and i think it's candidly because i started posting long form on, vi- on youtube and i've got a good response which is pretty cool right um the whole there's no real point of this youtube channel if you if you're thinking like damn is this guy trying to sell me anything or like um offer mentorship or courses i'm really not like you're just watching a lad you know try and grow his agency um there's not even like there's not a thing there's no benefit to this in my life um but i just like building a personal brand i thought it could be useful down the line that's about that's a better way of explaining it because if you look at all the famous entrepreneurs which hopefully i want would like to be in my lifetime right um if you look like alex or Mosey, patrick bear david uh gary v what do they all do like i think do as they do not as they say so they might talk about like cold outbound they might talk about like scaling teams but what do they all like make sure they do what are they super disciplined with and is posting content so there's obviously a benefit to it so i thought i'd just kick on it doesn't take me much time um just in the evenings posting a little bit a little bit of content and like i said i'm in this room you know 24 hours a day um well i'm not really but like like uh i'll just say that was like a exaggeration um but you get my point i'm in this room a lot so just to like verbalize my thoughts uh speak with you know like-minded people uh, because i've got so many comments and it's like incredibly cool to me um yeah it's been beneficial really um i like talking about you know growing the business what's happening in my life um and i know this today hasn't been very exciting because <laughs> really you know not every day there's going to be major changes in the business but yeah it's pretty cool just get in front of the camera and chill out but what are we going to do tomorrow more client fulfillment so i send out all my weekly reports to all my clients and the weekly reports are you know what i've done during the week what you can expect to see uh, a little bit of progress updates with regards to you know organic traffic organic revenue so i send them all out on mondays and tuesdays so yeah, sorry guys i don't know what happened there but yeah every monday and tuesday i try and get weekly reports out to all my clients with regards to you know the work that's been done um the, what they can expect to see off that work progress updates in terms of organic traffic and organic revenue um, and all of that good stuff so sunday is a very like work heavy day it's where i try and do all my last touches try and put these reports together um and yeah really try and move their seo campaigns forward but yeah that's what tomorrow looks like i might go to the gym again you know i'm trying to get back on as much muscle as i can in such um in as short a time frame as i can get back in shape um especially over the quieter christmas period i think it makes sense um but yeah i will record another video tomorrow i really enjoy these and thank you to everyone who subscribed